Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here with another Minnesota North Stars game from my 90-91 NHL season. Um, right now we are, let me get rid of this for a second. Uh, right now, let's see, league stats, we are in third place after 37 games, 16, 18, and 3. We are 10 points behind the St. Louis Blues and 12 behind the Chicago Blackhawks in the division. So, um, offhand, I don't know exactly what the North Stars record was at this time in the season, but I suspect we are still better than they were at this point at 16, 18, and 3, because they really got off to a terrible start that year and had to come on late. So, so right now, I think we're still in pretty decent shape. Um, but anyway, uh, so let's go to new scheduled again. We will uh, play the uh, play the day first. No. Let's see game new schedule. Oh, okay, yeah, they've already been played. All right, so so we will play this game against Hartford. We're going to Hartford. Um, they will do computer. They're just going to do computer. And we will do uh, computer lines, human decisions. Okay, let me turn down the sound. And uh, let's see here. Um, and uh, what else do I have to do? Oh yeah, I gotta try to move everything up there and move this down a little bit so you can see everything. Okay, so now I think we're ready to go. Face off. Playing hard for uh, Minnesota loses the face off, and Zalapsky has it. Zarley Zalapsky has the puck, and uh, let's see. We have a chance to intimidate Cote, Sylvain Cote, and I will say yes. And yeah, Tenorti got it back. So they they got the puck back and they failed to penetrate as they tried to. And uh let's see. Buck is going back and forth, I guess. I don't know. Zalapsky has it. Then he feeds Jim Johnson. No, Jim Johnson has a chance to shoot on Daryl Rao, who is playing goal for them tonight. So for us, we got the puck back from Zalapsky, apparently. And Joe Johnson had that shot, which did not score. And now Zalapsky has the puck again. That guy's had the puck like almost this entire period so far. All right, Jim Johnson has an outside shot option. We're just going to take it because he can't really pass very well and he can't get inside either. So, and that also does not score. Daryl Rao stops that. And now Paul Sear has it. And select a player to serve an extra minor. Oh, man. Uh, all right. I'll well, make it Giles. So they're going to be on the power play now. 
We are shorthanded for two minutes. And by the way, we have John Casey in net, but he hasn't faced any shots yet. So they've got the puck. They get control of the puck coming off the face off. And Tenorti takes the puck away, and now he has it for us. And now that was taken away, and now Cullen has an inside shot. And that's going to be lose to the defensive left defense. So Tenorti has the puck back. And Huda took the puck away and now has an inside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing will come up with it. And we do have a right wing, so that's Neil Broughton, and he's got the puck. I say that because on a penalty, it's usually the center that you don't have. So they took the puck away, and now Pat Verbeek has an inside shot on Casey. And that's a goalie rating, and it is going to be a save. And Mark Tenorti will give it to Mark. Because, you know, Tenorti and Zalapsky have been the only two guys pretty much that have been uh, doing anything. All right, so now Rob Zettler has it instead of Tenorti because there was a line change. And there's a penalty possibly coming up, it looks like. Yes, on Hartford, Dave Babich has, is going to the penalty box. So now we have a two-minute power play. And just so you know, as always, I will be um, I will be cutting ahead in the action at some point in the game, uh, usually right near the end of the first period or beginning of the second period. Jim Johnson has the puck, so um, you know, so that it's not like over an, an hour long or an, over an hour long. Um, and now Gagne has an outside shot from the point. And he gets a save, and the left wing will come up with it for Hartford. And that's Paul Sear. So uh, he failed to skate, and uh, so looks like we're going to get it back, or we should. And uh, so let's see. Dave. Select a player for the shot, Dave Gagne. Um, I'm going to go to Bellows instead. And Bellows will pass it because that's why I gave it to Bellows. And inside shot possibly for the right defenseman. Uh, no, for Madano. Inside shot for Madano. And Zalapsky tried to take him down and couldn't. But that's going to be a save, and it's going to go to their right wing. Terry Yake. So now Terry Yake has the puck. Um, they're out shooting us 3-2, to two, but I don't think anybody's really had a serious scoring opportunity yet. So... Let's see what goes on here. Uh, we got Brian Bellows having an outside shot. I'm going to try to. Uh, I'm going to try to penetrate, and he did. He got inside. Bellows is inside for an inside shot. Nice. And that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes up with it. That's Doug Smale. Or no. That's Luda Sewer. I think we have Doug Smale, so I don't know what his name was doing out there, but anyway. Tenorti with an outside shot from the point. And that's going to be a goalie rating. And it's a goal for Mark Tenorti. Yes. Nice. We're up one nothing. 
So, Denorti with his second of the year from Brian Propp and Alf Dahlen. That's pretty sweet. So, we go to the center ice again for the faceoff. Up one nothing. So, that's that's good news. And Rob Brown has the puck. Rob Brown with a very high penalty rating. I remember that from when I had the cards from about this time. So Jim Johnson with an inside shot. And that's going to be a save defensive right defenseman. So they're going to, their right defenseman, pick it up. And that is Sylvain Cote, and he's got the puck now. So this would be a nice, this would be nice if we could pull out a win. I mean, I know it's early to be talking about wins, but got a chance to intimidate with Jim Johnson, and I will, yes. Um, but yeah, win here, we're 17, 18, and 3, which is like practically 500. But a loss here, and we're starting to slip further and further below 500, and we don't want to do that. So now Zalapsky has the puck. He took it away. Zalapsky for Hartford. And Gagne. Gagne took the puck away and has a uh, an inside shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating and uh, a goal for Dave Gagne. And we're up 2 nothing. And Daryl Rouse having a rough night here. Gagne with his 18th of the year right there. So that's another thing. We've got some guys that are really playing out of their heads so far, I think. That's also part of the reason why we have a better record than the actual North Stars of this year did. Part of it. Um, player for a shot, I'm going to say Bobby Smith. Or I guess player for possession of the puck. I don't know. I guess because there was no shot there. Daryl Sear took it away, or Paul Sear took it away, though, and has an in, has an outside shot. And it's going to be a save and go to our center. Who is Bobby Smith? So Bobby Smith now has the puck with 8.46 left in the first period. And uh, Doug Smale has an outside shot option. I am going to just take it because he's, again, not very good at passing, and he is not very good at getting inside. So that's going to be a rebound. Hopefully we can swoop in and grab it with somebody. But it uh, doesn't look like it. No. So Terry Yake has the puck now. And we're out shooting him now 7-4. to four. And we have two goals on those seven shots. So Ra was really having a bad year. A bad. Uh, he might be having a bad year, but he's definitely having a bad night. And now uh, Glenn has it for us. Brian Glenn. And Basil McRae has an outside shot option. Again, not very good at getting inside or at passing. So we're just going to take the shot. Keep throwing rubber at the net, especially up two goals to nothing. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing will come away with it for Hartford. And that's Rob Brown. Rob Brown, the penalty man. The goon. Although, he's not really a typical goon, because he was, uh, as I recall, he was a pretty good scoring forward, too. So, All right, player for a shot. We're going to go Broughton, yeah, because he can pass it. So if he ends up with it, I can, I, I would have that option. But Cullen takes it away from him, apparently. Cullen for uh, Hartford has it. And uh, 
we have the option to intimidate at 40 percent i will take it i'll take the chance and try to intimidate and we're going to get a penalty for it see that's the trouble with trying to you know select a player to serve the penalty i'm going to go dahlquist and uh so it looks like they're going to have a power play no it's yes they do they have a power play face off to the right of john casey 623 left um select a player i'm going to say give it to giles okay here we're going to we're at the 618 mark so i am going to quick play to two minutes in the uh two minutes left in the first period and there's a minute 48 left and we're still up to nothing so that was we didn't miss anything which is good and like I've said in other telecasts, it usually turns out that when I do that, the only thing I miss is a goal by us, not by the other team. And that looks like it's offsetting penalties right there. Yes, it is. So still five on five with a minute 14 left now in the first period. We're out shooting Hartford 9-6 and outscoring them 2 nothing. And they've got the uh, puck. Dave Babich, there's Dave Babich's smiling face on the screen. Uh, Brian Bellows has the option to intimidate Rob Brown. I'm going to say no because it's it's too low anyway. Um, and why risk it? And it's going to end up being a save, and our center will come away with it. And Neil Broughton has it with nine seconds left in the period. And there's a penalty. Penalty to them, uh, it looks like. Right at the end of the period, and uh, yes, when we have a power play. So we're going to open the second period with a power play, a 2 nothing, and a 2 nothing uh, advantage on the scoreboard. And Brian Glenn has the puck for us. And now Gagne has an outside shot. And he gets a, uh, it's, it's a save by Rao. And their left defenseman has it. And that's Sylvain Cote. Uh, a player for the shot. I'll take, yeah, we'll give it to Gagne. The computer recommended Gagne, and I can go with that. All right, Gagne has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate. And I don't know what happened there. Maybe he didn't make it. Yeah, they've got it back. He uh, probably didn't get inside, and so now. Ludasur has it, or Ladisur, and now Krieger has it, and he failed to skate, so we may get it back. Tried to skate with the puck. Uh, select a player for the shot. Brian Prop sounds good to me. Uh, Brian Prop has an outside shot. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And it doesn't look like he made it. Oh, wait. 
Um, Dolan has a shot. All right. Oh, Dolan inside. I guess I could have picked anybody there, but I ended up being you know, goalie rating, though. Ah, save. And they've got it back. Everson has it. Everson for Hartford has the puck. Uh, we got another fast action card. And we've got the puck back to Nordy with it, I believe. And Jim Johnson is inside for an inside shot. And it's going to be a rebound. Just as well, because he's not really that great of a scorer. And the rebound shot, we will have Neil Broughton take it. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it. So we've still got a 2 nothing lead here with 17-8. The 17-18 mark of the second period. Krieger for Hartford now has the puck. And Dave Gagne has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to pass it. And he loses the puck to the opponent. So... That wasn't the greatest odds, but I thought maybe it could happen. So now Everson for uh, Hartford has the puck. That Dean Everson. And what do we got here? Dave Gagne has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to pass again. We got to try to work it inside. Inside shot for the center left wing, and that's prop. So, yeah, he finally did complete a pass, and we finally did work it inside when we had an outside shot and goalie rating plus so that's a save by Rao and there will be a face off to his left so still with a uh, two nothing lead and we're doubling them up in shots 14 to 7 with 1609 left in the second period And Brian Glenn has an outside shot option. Not very good at moving inside or passing, so I'll just let him take it. And that's going to be a save, and it goes to their center. And that's uh, Bobby Holik. So Bobby Holik of Hartford has it. And uh, Bobby Smith takes it away and has an outside shot. And that's a goalie rating. Nope, saved by Rao. And what was that? That goal, I don't know, goal 1 to 11 or something. And it was a 12, something like that. So anyway, face off to the left of Rao um, after the save. And uh, Lattisur has it. And McCray takes it away. And now Brian McCray has an outside shot only. And he gets, a, it's a shot and a save by Rao. And now their right defenseman comes away with it. And that's Huda, Doug Huda. So, let's see what happened. Maybe we did we take the puck away? We did, and McCray has an outside shot. And it's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with it for Hartford. And that's Pat Verbeek.
And we have a chance to intimidate Zettler at 85%. I'm certainly going to take that. And we win. Well, yeah, it didn't, I guess it didn't. I don't know. Looks like he's got it, but there is a penalty on Dave Babbage. So we're going to have a two minute power play at the 13 16 mark of the second period. So that's pretty cool. And now Bellows has the puck. And he feeds Madano, who has an outside shot only. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with it for um, Hartford. And that's Paul Sear. Minute 46 still left on the Babbage penalty at this point. Sear having trouble with the puck. Battle along the boards. And um, Madonna came away with it, and I have a choice of a player for the shot. Um, I'm going to go with Bellows. And we're going to try to penetrate inside with Bellows, and he failed to penetrate. And Terry Yake now has the puck for Hartford. 12.55 left in the second period. The game's rolling along. We're out shooting them now 19 to seven though. We are really seriously out playing Hartford here. And uh, Zalapsky comes up with the puck. And he does a successful skate as the Babbage penalty is now at 110 left. And somehow they got in, they got down the ice and inside, and there's an inside shot for Zalapsky. That's going to be a goalie rating plus, so that's a save for Casey because we're not the ones that are shorthanded. They are. So a face-off to Casey's right after he made the save. Now we're out shooting them 19-8, to eight, still doubling them up. And Brian Glenn has the puck for us. And Madonna with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save by Rao, and the right defenseman for Hartford is going to pick it up. And that's going to be Sylvain Cote. Now we're out shooting them 20 to 8. I mean, seriously, we're seriously out playing them here. I mean, it's a very good thing they're not on the scoreboard. Madonna with an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate with him. And he did get inside. Nice. So we got an inside shot from Madonna. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing for Hartford gets it, and that's Kevin Deneen. So Deneen now with the puck. And Madonna with an outside shot. And that's going to be a rebound. And who gets the rebound? any defensive player so they're going to give it to mark hunter with 948 left we're out shooting them 22 to 8 still outscoring them two nothing and uh we we took the puck away from zalapsky and now doug smale has an inside looks like an inside shot for him and that's going to be a save, and we'll go to their center. And that is Bobby Holik. 
So we're still up 2 nothing. 9.25 left in the second. Uh, we have a chance to intimidate at 75%, which I will take. And we do get the puck back. And so now Kurt Giles had it. And now there's a penalty. Hopefully on that. And it is. Randy Latticer has a, has a penalty. He'll go to the Sin Men. And we have another two-minute power play. Seriously outplaying this Hartford team tonight. And Doug Huda comes away with it after the face-off. Okay, Bobby Smith has an outside shot option. He is going to try to penetrate though. And he does. So now we got Bobby Smith supposedly inside. And he is. Taking an inside shot. And that's going to be a save and the left wing comes away with it. All that work just to get a save and give the puck to Krieger. So now Krieger has it. Uh, he's going to try to kill some time. 7.49 left and 105 left in the Latticeur penalty. And Bobby Smith got the puck away and now he's inside for another inside shot. And that's a 10. That's going to be a save and the left defenseman comes away with it. And that's Zalapsky with it. Seven thirty one left. Um, see what happens here. Successful skate. They're trying to kill time. The last twenty nine seconds of the Latticeur penalty. And it looks like they may be successful. Well, we do have an outside shot only for Bobby Smith, though. And that's going to be a save, and the right wing comes away with it for Hartford. But now we're out shooting them 26 to 8, which is crazy. Now we, we're tripling them up now on shots. And Rob Brown has the puck for Hartford, 548 left in the second period. And a uh, player for the shot, Broughton. Broughton's a good choice. And he takes an out, he's going to take an outside shot. And that's a save, and the right defenseman comes away with it. And that's Babbage, so Babbage has the puck. And he loses the puck to Zettler and uh, Brian Prop has the chance to intimidate Deneen who apparently took the puck away from Zettler and no penalty on the play and we've got and Prop has the puck 406 left in the second period we're out shooting Hartford at this point, 27 to 8, and outscoring them still 2 0. Inside shot for Everson, though, on Hartford. And that's going to be a save and go to our left wing. And that is De Palma. That's the first time I remember seeing De Palma for a while. Or, or really ever. So Larry De Palma with it. He loses it. Mark Hunter has an outside shot. I don't like this. We're letting them hang around a little too easily. 
uh, right to I know they're down by two, but they still got a whole nother period in three and an additional three and a half minutes. So, and now three minutes. So Jim Johnson has the puck for us. And uh, I guess Mark Hunter had had it briefly, but now he loses it. And now Brian McRae has it. 2.30 left in the second period. And now they've got it. Kastelik has it. And that's the first time I've seen Kastelik for Hartford. <laughs> And we're going to end up with the puck after a melee along the boards, and Dolan has it. Minute 14 left in the second period. Dolan with the puck. And Broughton has fought his way inside and has an inside shot on Rao. That's going to be a save, and their right defenseman comes away with it. And that's Huda. And Dolan inside. Took the puck away and has an inside shot. That's a seven. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be lose to the left defenseman. So that's Latisseur. And he has the puck with only nine seconds left in the period. And we have a one last shot, Dave Gagne. And I'll, let, I'll just let Gagne take it. He's already got a goal this game. Why not? But no. So that's the end of the uh, second period. And here we are starting the third. 20 minutes left in the game. We're up 2 nothing, And out shooting them 28 to 10. So. I like how we're out playing them. I would like another goal, though, just to be some icing on the cake and put this probably out of out of reach for them. But Zalapsky has the puck for Hartford right now. And uh, he feeds Cullen, who has an outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with it. And that's Brian Bellows. So Brian Bellows has the puck. Um, Select so player for a shot. Dolan, yeah. yeah. Let's let Dolan. He hasn't had anything going on to so much this game. Outside shot for Dolan. And he gets a rebound. Let's see if we can pick it up. Uh, probably not, no. We had a chance to if our offensive, if our left defenseman had been an offense three, which he was not. So Sylvain Cote has it for Hartford right now. And uh, Krieger, he fed Krieger and Krieger penetrated inside. And so now Krieger has an inside shot. Goalie rating. And no, it's going to be um, a save, and we're going to give it to Nordy. So yeah, I mean, you gotta you gotta wonder how many of those you can survive with still 1751 left in the game. Uh, they they had taken the puck away and tried to get inside, but they couldn't, and so now we have the apparently have the puck and Brian Glenn with it. 17.20 left. Still more than doubling them up on shots at 29.12. And now uh, Dave Huda has an outside shot. And that's going to be a lose to the right wing. So the right wing takes the puck away, and that's Doug Smale. And uh, select a player for a shot, Bobby Smith. I will certainly give it to Bobby Smith. 
and it looks like Bobby Smith was hit off the puck. Yep, and now Cullen has it. So John Cullen with it, and uh, well, Broughton took it away, and now Broughton has an outside shot up, and we're going to try to penetrate inside, and he got inside. So Broughton's inside for an inside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing comes up with it. All that work for now. So we're out shooting them 30 to 12. Still up on uh, on them in the scoreboard too. Two nothing with uh, John Casey pitching a shutout so far, and Madano taking possession of the puck. And he got the puck taken away from him. I think. And yeah, so now uh, Bra or Kevin Deneen has the puck for Hartford. Uh, we have a chance to intimidate Zalapsky, and we will with Jim Johnson because it's 75%. And it's going to be a penalty, of course. Penalty on us for doing that. Should have just left him alone. Uh, we'll have Johnson serve it. So it's going to be a power play for Hartford at the 14-23 mark with a say with a uh, face off to the right of John Casey. And they got possession of it, and they tried to penetrate, but they couldn't. So we're going to end up with it, and Kurt Giles has the puck. 14.09 left. Uh, Broughton has, an out, has a uh, chance at a shot. Um, I'm going to... I'm just going to shoot it because we're we're short-handed and uh, we're all and we're still up to nothing. So just see what happens. And it's going to be a save, and their center comes away with it. That's John Cullen. Thirteen thirty-three left in the game, and Verbeek has an outside shot. That's going to be a goalie rating plus. Could be a goal. No, it's a save. Nice. So face off to the right of Casey after a big save. Think they lost the I think they won the face off, but they lost the puck to us, to one of our players. Uh, we'll give the puck to Broughton. Battle along the boards looks like. Where Beat comes away with it and feeds Zalapsky, and so now Zalapsky has an inside shot. That's going to be a save and go to the left defenseman. Casey having another uncharacteristically great game. Stopping all 14 Hartford shots to this point. And now we have it, Brian Glenn with it. But Sear took it away and now Sear has an outside shot. Man, goal by Paul Sear from the outside. All right, well, they cut the deficit to one with 12.09 left.
Bobby Holik had the assist on that. And so now face up at center ice. See, this is the problem. You know, it's something you see in hockey all the time. One team is just absolutely dominating. But on the scoreboard, it's so close that the other team still has an opening. And now they do. They're only down by a goal. And Smale comes away with the puck off the faceoff. So we have it. Uh, Bobby Smith has an outside shot option. I got to try to penetrate with him. Doesn't look like it happened. Boy, he, he got somehow Doug Smale ended up with it and got has an inside shot. But it's going to be a save, and their center comes away with it. 11.35 left in the game. John Cullen has possession of the puck. And they got a nice pass, and uh, Brown is inside. That's going to be a lose to the center. So the center came in and took the puck away, and now Neil Broughton has it for us. 10.32, so now it's about halfway through the period. Uh, Bellows has an outside shot option. I'm going to try to penetrate, and he did get inside. Thank you. So Bellows with an inside shot. And that's going to be a goalie rating. And it's a save. And their left wing comes up with it. And that's Krieger. So Krieger with the puck, 9.55 left. So now we are under half a period left. Madano gets possession of the puck from Krieger. Now they're meleeing along the boards. Madano has a chance to intimidate Krieger at 30%. I'll take it. And he doesn't uh, drive him off the puck, so Krieger has an inside shot. That's going to be a good save, and the right defenseman comes away with it. So Jim Johnson with it. Zalapsky, I think. No, no. De Palma, for us, has an outside shot. Um, I'm going to just take the shot. Time is winding down. We've got a goal lead. We should just be throwing rubber at the net. So uh, save, and then the right wing comes away with it for Hartford. And that's Mark Hunter. Uh, we have a chance to intimidate, and I'm going to do it. I always get in trouble for this, and I got in trouble for it again. Another penalty. You would think I would learn. So now we're down a man with, or is that um, offsetting? No, it's offsetting. All right, good. So, yeah, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, because that would have been bad to be down uh, a man with 8-11 left. Glenn has the puck for us. And Cullen takes it away and has an outside shot. And it's going to be a save, and the right defenseman comes up with it. So Giles with the puck for us. 6.56 left in the game. We're up 2-1 to one and out shooting them 34-17. So doubling them up again. Brown, though, takes the puck away and has an outside shot for Hartford. And he, gets, uh, he loses it to the left wing. We're getting lucky with these rolls. I mean, so Prop comes away with the puck. And uh, 
Outside shot, maybe, for somebody on our team. Yeah. Outside shot for Gagne. He's just going to take it because we're, you know, we just need to throw rubber at the net and hope that the puck somehow stays down in that end. Uh, no, it's a save in the left wing for Hartford Head. And that's Krieger with 548 left. And I think we took the puck away and have an outside shot for Madano. Uh, we'll just take it. Just want to keep the puck down here and away from Casey. And that's going to be a rebound. So hopefully we can come away with the rebound. Uh, yes. And that'll be, pro I'm going to give it to Prop. And he comes away with a rebound. But this time their defense comes in and saves the day and takes the puck out. So now Sylvain Cote has the puck for Hartford. 521 left. We're clinging to a 2-1 to one lead, a very slim 2-1 to one lead. Uh, Doug Smale has an outside shot, and he's just going to take it. And he got inside. So now Doug Smale with an inside shot. And that's going to be lose to anybody on their team. Let's see who they take. Zalapsky, of course. The guy who had the puck for almost all of the first period. 440 left now, though. So time is running out on them. But they got Mark Hunter inside right down the throat of Casey. So let's see what happens there. Goalie rating. And it's a save. Let's see what happens. Offensive left wing, if uh, whatever, and that's Verbeek. So Verbeek is going to get a uh, rebound shot. And that's a goalie rating. And what happened? And it's a score. So there you are, tie game. And that's what happens. We're just seriously outplaying them, but we're tied. All right, face off at center ice. Now we got, there's 4-11 left in the third period. Giles with the puck, 4.06 left. Uh, player for the shot, Bellows, yeah. Give it to Bellows. I guess they rode him off the puck. But looks like maybe they're going to get a penalty, though. Bellows inside. Goalie rating. Ah, save. And they do have a penalty on Rob Brown. So, with four minutes left, we've got a power play. Jim Johnson comes away with the puck. I'm going to try to have him pass it. And it is an inside shot for Bellows. Come on, man. We need this. No, it's, it's going to be a save, and the right wing comes away with it for Hartford. And that's Terry Yates. Unbelievable. We're out, out shooting them 40 to 19, but we're tied on the scoreboard to all. Now Gagne has an inside shot. Come on, we got to score on one of these. Yes, Gagne puts us up 3 to 2 with 3.56 or less left in the third period.
All right, face off at center ice. 346 left. We have really got to buckle down here. And Jim Johnson with the puck. Three minutes left. Zalapski, it looks like, took it away and has an outside shot only. That's going to be a save, and the left wing comes away with it. And that's Brian Prop. And Madonna with an inside shot. That's going to be a rebound. Offensive right wing has the rebound shot, and that's Madonna taking his own rebound. And that's going to be a save by Rao, so face off to the left of Rao. With 231 left. Okay, Doug Smale has an outside shot option. He's just going to take it. And that's going to be a save, and the left wing for Hartford comes away with it. And that's um, Paul Sear. And Smale takes the puck away. Now he has the puck. A minute 23 left. We're coming right down to the wire, and we're out shooting him 44 to 20. Absolutely dominating him, but they're only down by a goal. Hunter trying to break free. Melee along the side there. And Neil Broughton ends up with the puck. 46 seconds left. And loses it to John Cullen, but there's only five seconds left. They've got to do something with it quickly. And they do. Verbeek with an outside shot. And that's going to be a save, and the left defenseman comes away, and that could be it. And it is. And we have won. Minnesota comes away with the 3 to 2 victory, out shooting them 44 21. And the stars of the game are Dave Gagne for us, Pat Verbeek for them, and Mark Tenorti for us. So I hope you enjoyed that game. It was uh, quite entertaining. And we came away with the win. So. For me, Sportsman Z, that's going to be it. And we will see you next time in the Minnesota 9091 um, replay.